What is it with old girlfriends? Speaking of uh, questions, uh, romantic liaisons and answers, there's only one man who truly has the information we seek. I'm talking about Doc Love from DocLove.com. He is the relationship expert. He has interviewed 10,000 women and spent 10,000s of hours letting them unpack their baggage in the middle of his um uh, mental fortress that we like to call the uh, the ice palace. Doc Love, how are you, brother? Fine. How are you doing? Well, you know, uh, girlfriends, uh, ex-girlfriends, and uh, the memories as they fade are all that I have left in my uh, the dark recesses of my mind. But as we talk each and every day, as people confront us with their problems, relationship problems are some of the biggest. They weigh the heaviest on people's minds. And ironically, it's the one thing that people can really do something about. They can have control over their interpersonal relations, and that's why it's such a blessing that we have you on the program so that you can share your insights and observations. Uh, Today we're going to talk about she broke up with you, but she still wants to be your friend. Now, is this friend with benefits? No, this is not friend with benefits. And the, the point is this, though. She got rid of you, so you think, well, wait a minute. Why does she want to be my friend if she just got rid of me? And then, but your ego comes in and the fact that you have high feelings for this girl. So you say, well, I'm going to play it cool and maybe she'll take me back. But there's only three things in life that are certain. Death, taxes, and you get one chance per woman per lifetime. And here's another <laughs> thing guys never ask. What if you dropped her and asked her to be your friend? She'd tell you to go jump in the river. But it's who gets out first. So, um, what, what's the whole premise? Why do, and, and guys don't do that. Guys don't break up with a girl and say, let's still be friends unless no, they don't, they don't do that. They're like, I never want to see you get, unless yeah. they're, unless they're, um, pimps. Yeah. What, 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 what she's going to do is until she finds a replacement, she's going to give you false hope. Oh, oh, I see. So she's keeping you on the hook. And yeah, what's, what's the purpose of, you. what's the purpose of keeping you on the hook? She can't be alone. So she wants you for companionship, not uh, yeah, romantic. Yeah, and you you think she wants you back at the boyfriend? You're wasting your time, and so uh, so you so what you got to do is this: is you got to be tough, and you got to say, look it, there's there's friends. We're not friends. Friendly? I'm not going to be friendly with this girl, but I'll be cordial if I see her at a club or walk by her in the street. I'll say, hi, Carol, how are you doing? Nice seeing you. Have a nice day, and just keep right on walking, even on the inside. I'm dying to have her back. You got to be a Spartan. You got to be tough, like the guys in the movie 300. Now, what if you're the ultimate player, the Machiavellian master of the game? Yeah. How how, how do you how do you handle that? You can't do it the same way. You can't, you, you can't get her back. Once her interest level goes fifty one forty nine, you're gone. See, the problem with guys is this: he gets the woman's interest level in the nineties, and when it goes eighty seventy five, he says, "Well, she's in a bad mood. She had a tough day at work." He's rationalizing for the fact that her interest level is dropping. It only has to drop two or three points a week, and then a three or four months. Let me give you an example here. A guy gets dropped after nine months. He thinks everything was perfect till the day before. She started getting turned off in the fifth and sixth month. But he doesn't look at when the interest level when it goes ninety five to eighty. He rationalizes. Well, she had a, you know, she's just having a tough time right now. Because in the beginning stages, her eyes are lit up like a, you know, high beams on a truck. She's all over you. She's touching you and all that. And slowly the touching fades. She doesn't laugh at your corny jokes. But he rationalizes this dip. And he would, if he would back off when it went to 95, 85, he would shoot back up. But once it goes south of the Mason-Dixon line, once it goes south of 50, you can't bring it back up again. So when she calls you up and says, oh, hi, how are you doing? Say, oh, Caprice, I'd really like to talk to you, but my date's in the bathroom. But look at, keep in touch. She doesn't mean anything. And then you hang up. And there's no date in the bathroom. You've got to be a tough guy. But the thing is this, you've got to realize what mistakes you made to turn her off. And that's where I come in. Because See, I show men, it's one thing to get them to fall in love. You've got to keep them in love. That's the tough part. But I think... Instead of, and if, you know, if she's, if she's playing the, oh, I don't, we're not that way, but I want to be friends card. I, I, I think there's two cards a guy can play here. 
Uh, first is I'm going to hold on to her because uh, she's in a nice mood. Uh, she's trying to be nice to me. Maybe I could mine some of her friends. And then the other card is, uh, you know, we've been intimate. Once you've been intimate with a woman, the odds are greater that you could somehow rekindle or exploit that intimacy. And I don't mean for, actually, don't, she forgets. She forgets about all that. I don't mean for 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 long term relationship. I mean for booty calls. No, she she won't. She has no interest in that. She doesn't want to touch you. She resents you. She can't stand the looks of you. Man. Caprice, you're a bad boyfriend and well, a no, bad I'm not, lover. I'm not, uh, this is this is this is the this is the way it works. And I'm not saying women are wrong or bad for being this way, because the guy had his chance. I went out with him for nine months. The last three months, he blew it. Yep, it's always but, the guy's but fault. You're not going to hear. You're not going to hear from her. You stopped taking me out. You took me for granted. You didn't dress up anymore like you used to. We sit around the house all the time and hang out. You treat me like a girlfriend. Uh, you've become my psychiatrist. I have no feelings for you anymore. And from six months, it goes 98, 96, 89, and it's a slow death. When did she stop coming over and cleaning your apartment for you? Which, which she says, I just want to be your friend. Because she's not going to spend time with you. She might email you once every two or three days or call you out of the blue. She might even make a date. But then she calls up two days later and breaks the date. God, she's but, just, but she's killing her. me. That's my point. Uh, so they go they go through this thing and waste your time. But guys think, oh, she's back. That means she likes me. No, she's just back because uh, she, she struck out. And then what happens six months later, she says, Hey, uh, since we're good friends, would you be the best man at my wedding? <laughs> this guy wasted a whole year on this woman. Yeah. For what? Nothing. You can never go back. You can never go back. When it's done, it's done. Therefore, when you get her interest level in the in the 90s, Dave, let's keep it there. By exactly. Being, by being a challenge, by being humorous, by not making your by making uh, yourself her psychiatrist or her girlfriend, and this is all explained in my system because guys are dying to treat women like a guy. She's nothing like a guy. No. And that's the rub right there. Doc Love, you can hear him on the Internet at DocLove.com. 6 p.m. on Fridays, he's got a program. It's called The System. It is insights and instruction. After uh, years of research, uh, this man is not uh, is not to be trifled with. The ladies see him coming, and they want to get to know him. Appreciate your time today, sir. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate being on.